Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do, well not today, but the next few days I'm going to do a three-part series on debating. But we're going to start with one topic at a time. So today's verse of the day is Ephesians 4.26. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Be angry and do not sin. There are times when the Lord wants you to get riled up. He will rile up your spirit and he wants you to get mad. To stop being so calm, cool, and collective and get mad. To raise your voice. To spit your facts. To sometimes cut where it needs to be cut. Sometimes we're to be gentle. But sometimes we just need to chop it down. There are times where we are to get angry, but we do not sin. We only go as far as he wants us to. We only go as far as he wants us to. And when I say that, you look at the verse right prior to it, Ephesians 4.25, Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another, be angry and do not sin, and do not let the sun go down on your anger. So, when, we, when we're when we angry, it is we're speaking the truth with our neighbor. We have knowledge to share with our neighbor. That is why we are angry. Or sometimes it, it can also be because we see somebody treating someone horribly. You stand up for your children, don't you? If your teacher is doing your children wrong, do you just come in there... Um, <laughs> no, sometimes you got to get loud. You may come in calm, but the teacher refuses to, to treat your child right. Sometimes you got to get, get loud. I remember there was a time in first grade, Miss Lucky was my teacher. And she put me in the corner because I said the word hell. Now, let me give you the context. This was first grade. Me and a kid, we were talking, and we talked about the place hell. Some, somewhere, we talked about the place hell, and the kid said, you can't say that. Hell's a bad word. I said, no, hell's a place, man. It's not a bad word. The teacher put me in the corner. My mom comes, and she saw that I was sad, that my countenance has fallen. She asked me what had happened. I said, Mom, the teacher put me in the corner because I said the hell is a place. It's not a cuss word. My mom went in there and let Miss Lucky have it. She told her, don't you ever, if you're going to be like this, don't you ever put my son in the corner without calling me. Be angry, yet do not sin. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. But always speak truth. Always make sure that you're in, in the right with truth. And when I say that, Jesus got angry. <laughs> he got so mad. We read John 2, 14 through 15. This is the first time he got angry big twice in the New Testament. As he was on the scene. In the temple courts he found people selling cattle. So in his temple. The Lord's temple. He found people selling cattle. Place that they should worship. Sheep and doves and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip. Jesus made a whip. And drove from the temple courts. Both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers. And overturned the tables. He was whipping people out of that temple. He was flipping tables. He said, this is not what my father's house is about. The, that was the first time that he drove people out of the temple. The second time, Matthew 21, 12 to 13, and Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said it to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of thieves. He 
he flipped out on them. There are times when the Lord has us get angry, get loud. Yet do not sin and do not let the sun go down on your anger. So sometimes that the Lord has let me get angry. I get angry directed by him when people tell falsehoods, half truths. I'm going to share a story about this tomorrow, a deep story about this tomorrow. But half truths. I get angry when people who claim to be Christian adopt other religions. Adopt other religions and mix it with God. God never won the mixture. He wants those to worship him, to worship him in spirit and truth. He does not want the sp spaghetti meatball God worshipped along him. He doesn't. He doesn't want Hinduism worshipped along him. Or a fat man named Buddha worshipped around him. Or the prophet Muhammad who's a pedophile, had a six-year-old wife, worshipped around him. He does not want falsehoods worshipped around him. So there are times when people are trying to share things as though they're absolute truths, that the Lord will spark something like, hold on, man. Let me tell you something. I can share this with something that I had a discussion with there's a youtube channel called led live now led live for the most part i like them um yet i know that they are seventh day of venice i'm not a seventh day of venice but they do share some truths okay i don't like seventh day events because ellen g white she had prophecies first off she had prophecies that did not come true and she actually <laughs> the lord says if, if a prophet you know a prophet if they have no if their their prophecies have not come true they're not a true prophet but she says she knows the time and the hour that jesus was going to come back she had two false prophecies that was that she says that uh worshiping on the sunday is the mark of the beast there's just so many reasons so many reasons why Seventh Day Adventists are not right, okay? But that's not the point. The point is, LED Live, they teach a lot of truths about some of these movies that we see, and they show the dark deceptiveness in it, such as in Star Wars and things. They show why it isn't good for Christians to be be watching these things and how it actually shows mirrors what other gods and other religions are doing the force it is it is a type of religion we're all we are all connected universalism the marvel marvel movies all of those superheroes are modeled after greek gods they there's reasons in, in led live light exposing darkness live tends to always show those truths in the movies. Now, they had a special one on the origins of Chris, Christmas, LED Live, and they went so light on it. If you get a chance, watch their video, and you can see how they went light, because Christmas it was actually Saturnalia. It was came from a pagan religion. It is, it is pagan. The Lord told us, do not worship the Lord your God the way the pagans worship their gods. Okay? So he never wanted us to mix our Christianity with paganism. It is not true. So after that, I was upset. And I could feel the Lord tell me, hey, talk to him. Hit him right there, straight. He got me angry. I got angry. And so I said, that was the biggest tiptoe around the subject that I have ever seen. And I quoted, have no fellowship with the fruitless deeds of darkness, 
but rather expose them. Ephesians 5.11 But what do one of you say? Well, since it is not going anywhere, let's... No, no, let's not. Did you forget what Christ did twice when money was being exchanged in the temple? Flip the, t the table, destroy the pagan altars in the church. This was the most hypocritical episode as you will warn us of comic book movies and such because of their dealings with other gods, but in this, we will leave the discretion to the viewer. How about leave the discretion to God? Do not worship the Lord your God in the way these pagan peoples worship their gods. Deuteronomy 12.4 I hope those involved with this video repent for going so light on this topic with a new video next year on this. Otherwise, change the channel to Light Emulating Darkness. So that is what I began with. Now, we can continue communicating, and I will go down to the last two things that we said. So Lil Light Studio said, well, it's also about everyone having extra time off from work and people gathering together with family that they only see once a year. You may have a cousin that you only see every December and that's your opportunity to share the gospel with them. Our show is not scripted and that conversation was just organic, so it's not like we planned on trying to sugarcoat the truth or anything. We were just sharing thoughts. So then I say to him, then on those breaks, you can share history with them. Hey, cuz, we are on break because of the culture. You want to read some really cool stuff? And I like that your show is not scripted, but some things we got to dive deep in before we put it out there. I have to do that all the time when I, when I teach on verse a day. I have to dive in deep. I can't just give you anything. As the word says, not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you do not know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. As someone who teaches as well, I must be careful with this and do plenty of research as well. For it says, But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you, but with gentleness and respect. And I know you all do your research. I see it. I love it. But when many minds and hearts come together, sometimes you are afraid to step on toes while going live. No one wants to re receive instruction in front of viewers, as you are all friends as well. And I can see that gentleness coming through. But for certain episodes, get a round down on beliefs of everyone, and perhaps hold the episode until all are on the same page. I love your channel, and I know things will be alright. We left as brothers and sisters in Christ. But the Lord had me fired up. Like, hey, are you guys light emulating darkness or are you light exposing darkness? And that is the things that we sometimes must do, get fired up. Tomorrow, I will talk more on this, but just know that. Just know that sometimes you got to get angry. And I refer you to, and I refer you to verse of day 95 through 97 on controlling your anger. But tomorrow we will talk more about the actual debate process. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. May we be armed and ready and willing to get angry for you, Lord, with control, with self-control and humility, humbleness, with gentleness and respect. But sometimes we get loud, Lord, for your sake. And Lord, I just pray for those as, as things get darker and darker, that their eyes are opened and that many may be saved. In Yeshua's name I pray. Amen. Goodbye.